We're never going to meet the deadline like this. Who are you? How'd you get in? Sounds like you need some help. Security! Relax, relax, relax. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm the ghost of business past, and I'm here to show you the error of your ways. What error? Who sent you? Maria sent me. Who's Maria? Who are you looking right, at? Enough talking. Let's go. What's going on? I'm confused. Take a look inside. That's me. How is that me? That's you from three months ago. You're interviewing candidates. Just head inside and pay attention. Okay. They can't see you, they can't hear you. What's the whole point of this then? Just sit back, observe, and I'm going to show you where you went wrong. So thank you for answering all those questions. Just one final thing. We're actually hiring for secretaries. And have you thought about applying? Um, well, I was more interested in this particular role. I haven't, haven't really thought about that. Well, I just mentioned it because young ladies such as yourself often do really well in those type of jobs. Maybe think about applying. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay, I guess. So you've actually got most of the things we're looking for and you've clearly got tons of experience. Thank you. That's a really nice ring, by the way. You recently married. Yeah, last summer. Are you thinking of having kids anytime soon? I haven't really thought about it. Maybe in the next few years. Mm. Seems like you don't have a lot of experience in this field. But I've got a good feeling about you. You know what? You're hired. Okay, I think we've seen enough. Time to go. Wait! How'd you keep doing that? And where are we now? Don't worry about that. Now listen, do you understand what I'm trying to tell you? I know we've got a specific type of culture, but what's the harm in that? Look, just come with me. Where are we now? The team had a meeting earlier today. Why don't we go and see what kind of culture you've created? Okay. You two! What are you saying right now? Oh, oh, guys, 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 look charm! Still not getting it. Nothing. No. Alright, right. enough of this! Right, let's go through this one by one. Okay. Do you think Emily will get the promotion? She's great, but she comes on a bit strong. Yeah, but she's basically doing the job already, so it's just a title, isn't it? Yeah, what about Jessica? Everyone loves her. Yeah, but she's not really leadership material, is she? She's too nice. I guess you're right. What about James? I think he'll get it. He's got potential. Classic case of double binds. The female staff members are seen as either being too harsh or too nice, and they end up having to work harder than their male counterparts for the same reward and recognition. Alright, let's get settled down. How about a cup of tea? Oh yeah. Yeah, Chloe, I think you make good cup of tea, right? I'm not your maid, you can get your own cup of tea. That's her deal. Yeah, she's so full of herself. It's probably a time of the month. <laughs> this is a case of internalised sexism. This is when women use sexist behaviours that have been inflicted upon themselves and do it to other women and sometimes even themselves. Terrible, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, I'm starting to get it. I've had way too many guys and all the girls are just feeling underappreciated and ignored. No wonder team creativity and morale is so low. Exactly. I've got so much thinking to do. Oh, you again. How's it going? Great, actually. Profits have been up, morale has been up, everything's going great. So tell me what you did differently. Well, let's sort through it. Well, something's had to change around here. I started by shaking up the interview, introducing a more structured recruitment process, making sure that in the first stages we held a blind evaluation so we could minimise the impact of unconscious gender bias on hiring decisions. I also made sure to have a predetermined criteria related to work performance so that candidates were selected on best performance rather than anything else. I used affirmative action to allow me to deal with previous bias, but I was still careful to hire based off merit and not just on previous bias. I also started making changes in the day-to-day -day office, making sure I corrected any gender stereotypes phrases to make sure no one contributed to the double bind but I knew I had to go further I started to hold small workshops with my employees to create an open conversation around sexism in the workplace and educate them on how to make a conscious effort to avoid unconscious bias finally I realized that our policies didn't cater for a lot of the female staff members who wanted to start families so we created more inclusive policies like a more flexible work life to retain our talented employees who are facing the maternal war Huh? 
Looks like my work here is done. Thank you very much. Oh, I think I've got this one. <laughs>